Catching up with English, the many meanings of to catch something. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase, to catch something. This phrase can be quite versatile, popping up in various contexts with meanings that range from the literal to the figurative. Understanding these different uses will not only enrich your vocabulary but also enhance your comprehension and expression in English. So, let's get started and catch some new knowledge. At its most basic, to catch something, refers to physically grasping or capturing something. This could be catching a ball thrown to you, catching a butterfly in a net, or catching a falling glass before it hits the ground. In each of these cases, you're using your hands or another part of your body to stop and hold on to something. Catching illnesses. One common non-literal use of to catch something is when talking about illnesses. If you catch a cold or catch the flu, it means you've become sick with these illnesses. Here, catching refers to becoming infected by germs or viruses, not physically grabbing something. Catching public transport. Another everyday scenario is catching a bus, train, or plane. In this context, to catch means to arrive in time to board public transport. Missing your bus means you didn't catch it. Catching it means you were on time. Catching a break. To catch a break is to finally experience some good luck or find a moment of relief in a series of challenges or hard work. It's like the universe is throwing you a small, manageable opportunity and you've successfully grabbed it. Catching someone's eye. When you catch someone's eye, it means you've attracted their attention. It could be because of your appearance, something you're doing, or something unusual about you. Here, catching is all about visual attraction. English is full of idioms that use to catch something. Here are a few. Catch wind of something, to hear a rumor or get a hint of something. Catch someone red-handed, to find someone in the act of doing something wrong. Catch your breath, to pause and rest after doing something exhausting. Understanding these idioms can add color and depth to your English conversations. I hope this video has helped you catch on to the various meanings of to catch something. Whether it's grabbing a ball, boarding a train, or snagging a lucky break, this phrase is incredibly versatile and useful in everyday English. Keep practicing, and soon you'll catch all the nuances of English expressions. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.